Hi Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to welcome you to my show and tell. Here I answer some questions that have been in my comments on my videos and show you what I got at Peterborough, Peterborough Craft Fair. I'm still suffering from sore throat and croaky voice. Sorry about that. Right, one of the questions I got asked of the wedding album video walkthrough I was asked if I'd show them how I did the base pages in the album. So I have mocked up what looks like a um, the cover of the album. All I've done is cut up an old bit of card so it looks like the album. Let's see if I can go out a little bit. Right. Get all the page in. So this is my album. The album sizes was eight and a quarter by seven inch. That is the back page. The spines were eight and a quarter by two and a half inch on both sides, and the front was eight and a quarter by three and a half inches on both sides. I've gone all blurry because it's white. The base pages were 8 inches by 7.5 inches and what I did I scored a half an inch and one inch on one side of the pages and I made four. So that would make my spine two inches once they're all stacked on top of each other. And I allowed myself an extra half an inch for wiggle room. So that is why my spine is two and a half inches. Now when I made the album, I wished I'd made my spine or each page like three quarters of an inch because it was quite thick. But you can adjust the each base page as thick as you want by this let me fold these so that is how thick your page can be now I wished I'd made this three quarters of an inch if I'd made it three quarters of an inch I would have had to adjust the um, spine to accommodate the extra quarter of an inch on each page so that would have been another inch so that would have been three and a half inches for my spine so you can adjust it, it depends how thick you make your pages now to stick these together what I did I'm just going to use tear and tape I actually use glue when I um, put my pages together but I shall just use tear and tape for now and obviously you're going to burnish these properly and this is just old, it's really old card, it's going yellow around the edges but it's good for show and tell and I'm not wasting my good card I actually did on my wedding album, I did my base pages in, I think it was Smoky Slate, I can't remember. And then I added my pages to the top of it. Right, with each page, I get the one I wrote on, this bit here, this one, will go on this page. So let's get this double sided tape off right. and what I did I had even room either side and at the top and I just laid that down, oops, I've got it too far up. 
See, when you use glue, you've got plenty of wiggle room. And I laid that down like that. And that will give that plenty of room that side. And then when you lift the spine up, you've got room. Now, with the next piece, you have it on the right hand side and you just put the edge of this into that first um, half inch so it goes like that. Let me put some tape on it. So that's in the inside of the half inch. I can hear music or noise. I don't know what it's off. Anyway, so we put this page in this first half inch and just butt it up to the score line. Like that. And then that will go over like that and you'll have your margin there. And so on for the next one, you go over like that. I might as well stick them down, might I? Finish the job burns. It's easy if you open the pages up. I'm going to stick this one on this first half inch score line. That will end up like that. And then the last one, remember you can add as many pages as you want, you just have to accommodate it in the margin, in your spine. Oh, I'll do. So, off stuck. Not very straight. So there is, open it up, and there are your pages. You can't see that very well. So when you lift them up, you've got two spines this side, and you'll have two spines that side. That's if you add four pages. You can add, like I said, as many as you want. And you can open it up both sides. You can decorate the back page, you can put a nice page on the back and then you've got this page, that's one, two, three, four, the top page is five. Open up this way, you've got six, seven, eight, nine pages to decorate. So that is how I made this book. The fastener that I had was given to me. I don't know where it came from. Um, a lady called Sonia, when she made this album, I said, oh, I'd love to make an album like that. She gave me the fastener that I had on it. But you could put ribbon. Just before you decorate, put ribbon around it and then stick your papers and card and flower on top of the ribbon to keep it secure and you can tie it shut. So that is how and Fifi, who asked the question, I hope that helps you out. So that was how I did the wedding album. Well, the base of the wedding album. 
Right, the next question was what's the difference between Memento ink, Memento black ink and Stampin' Up ink? The difference being, I've got two kinds, um, Memento and Versafine are a dye ink base. They've just got black dye in the ink. Stampin' Up is a water-based ink. Um, that way you can use it to watercolour and spread the colour and everything. But this is a water-based ink, Stampin' Up. They're coloured inks. And the Memento, which is what she asked for, she didn't ask about that one. Memento ink is a dye-based ink. It actually has it on it. Fade resistant dye ink and stamping up as a water based ink. And that was by a lady named Sarah. Hope that helps you. Um, someone asked what brushes I use. I use these brushes. I've actually got four of them. Um, they're shaving brushes. That's what they are, shaving brushes. And I think it was Amazon I got them from about three, four years ago. And that is what I use. I have four of them. They came with these protected nettings, but I have gave one of these nettings to um, Katie Freeman. And I use one on the metallic threads to stop them unwinding. I've got the silver and the gold thread and I've got it on the silver one because that kept unwinding. Now what I do with these brushes, this one as you can see is blue. So I use that on my blue inks. This one I use on my brown inks. They do clean off. They are, you know, you can wash them off. This one is my greens. I use on my green inks. And this one I use on my, oh hang on, that's my brown inks, and that was my red inks. But, yesterday I got, in the post, these brushes. I haven't used them yet, but they are really similar to these. Feel the same in everything, same density and everything. So I believe these will work. A lot of people on YouTube use these. These cost me four ninety-five off at Amazon. And I made a box to put them in. Right, so that's my brushes. Um I also got asked. Um, I think it was Susie, Susie Q asked about the brushes, um, whether I used a brush or a sponge on the Christmas card, one of my Christmas cards. And Susie, I use brushes. I do have sponges, but I prefer to use the brushes. Knock them on the floor. Right, someone asked, I can't remember who, but I haven't to go through all my... Um, uh, YouTube videos what glue I use well I use Cosmic Shimmer Glue this one now I paid £8.89 off Amazon for it but when I was at Peterborough at the craft fair I got it for £6.50 a bottle so that sh sh saved me £2.39 per bottle and I bought four. Then Gainer sent me one so I have now got five bottles of this so I've got oh, like a full year because this lasts me two and, a half, two and a half to three months per bottle. I've worked it out and then when I open a bottle I decanter it into one of these little bottles the stopper on mainly because I keep breaking the tube here when it 
blocks up instead of looking for a pin that I used to have I um, was using my pokey tool and splitting it and then the stopper wouldn't fit so that's why I decanter it into these little bottles sorry about that my daughter turned up with my son-in-law and granddaughter for a nice visit so we'll get back to this um, yeah so this is the glue I use cosmic acrylic glue um, what else was there oh the absorber cloth I use comes in this tub which keeps it moist um, it is one giant sheet and I've cut it into eight pieces each piece is this size which is quite big um, measures, what do they measure? eight and a half by seven and a quarter and we got I got eight of these out of them I gave two to my sister I think there's five here there is I gave two to my sister and I've got one here which is quite grotty but they wash I mean this has been washed and washed and washed for ages so yeah get it off of Amazon and it's called the absorber it must have some sort of chemical in it because it smells and that's how I store it I just leave it in the tub stays in there until I need another piece <coughs> um, I made a card the other day you won't have seen it yet um, but I talked about dimensionals when I'm making a card I don't use stamping up dimensionals I use these when I'm making myself when I'm filming I use stamping up dimensionals but when I'm making a card just for me I use these and these I get out of the range they're made by Stick It uh, double sided foam adhesives quite right thick things they're round little round circles and that's how a big sheet is and I use the positive and the negative bits and these are the little mini ones um, for the car paint and scrapbooking doesn't actually say how many is in a packet but there is quite a few so that's what I use right what else Ah, oh, right, the main thing you all want to know, what I got from Peterborough. Oh no, one more thing. What do I have at the side of me where I keep picking things out? Well, I have, I don't know if I'll get it on the camera. It is tidier. I don't want to tip it up sideways. Go out. Yeah, it is made of card, cardboard, and it is sold in IKEA for $7.95. Get them in different colours. This one's grey. Um, it has a big section at the top here. As you can see, I've got my paint brushes, my stamp positioner, my foam pad, scrap papers, my toolbox as I call it, and my wet wipes and a bit of acetate. In the middle one I keep my um, dimensionals, double sided tape, a pile of, not very thick at the moment, but that's where I keep my top white base cards and top card, not base cards, top cards, mats. Also got some fluffy stuff here, which I haven't used. And I've got some magnets in here is my scissors and 
all my pens and Wink Costello pencils, Versamark pen, my blender pen, water pens, spritzers, all my other little bits, paintbrushes are good one. And then in this bottom bit, here I have stamp cleaner, stays on cleaner, my glue, um, a like a snail but it isn't a snail so this here is where I keep my cloth my snips my pokey tool and my bone folder and these two is where I keep all my blocks and this just sits at the side of me it has a carrying handle here and I just sit it at the side of me and I can reach into it whatever I want so put it back in so that's what I and it lifts off the table quite easily I can move all that in one go and it's off the table when I need to use the table right in Peterborough what did I buy didn't buy that much well as you see I bought all the glues because I did them I bought a load of red liner tape I bought four half inch four yeah four half inch tapes and six quarter inch tapes and they only cost me four pound for the ten rolls which I thought was quite a bargain I got some stamps I got a woodware happy birthday stamp I'm trying to keep it so that you don't get the glare they're quite big. I mean, that one's two inches by three and a half inches. They're all like three and a half, three and three quarters. So that's a happy birthday. That's his birthday wishes. And that one also a happy birthday. It says 550 there, but we never paid 550, I think. I can't remember what we paid a pound I think it was for that then there's one to make tags which I haven't used for 50p do not open until the 25th um, this you've seen me use on the wreath card I made so I've already mentioned this so that's what I bought in Peterborough um, another stamp is a wall a brick wall this is a massive stamp this is eight and a half inches by six inches and I think I paid five pounds for this it is a photopolymer stamp not used it yet so it's still stuck on there Ooh. but it is yes yeah, so a bright thick photopolymer stamp and it came with this holder so I just keep it in there I got this Disney Bambi die my granddaughter loves Bambi and it cost me three pound I don't know what the original price is but that's what I got and this paper pad which cost me 50p and it's got like toppers on it which I thought was quite nice and then we also got a lucky dip bag the bag, lucky dip bag cost £20 and in it we got the trimmer which you've seen me use little two and a half inch, three inch three and a half inch trimmer which comes in handy and that actually sits in my um, box at the side of me 
we've got this box and inside this box is card kit. Now I did send some of these to Gainer so I haven't got them all. Right, that's envelopes, massive envelopes. This is all envelopes at the top. And then some all different coloured, plain, cream, blue card bases, six by six, and some oh, bigger card bases, eight by six, I think these are. Quite a few of them. And then some backing card. This is all by Create and Craft. backing card and then we have oh that's an instruction sheet and then there's these that is a Romeo make a big card there's another bit of backing paper backing paper that's all backing paper still. Um, a motorcycle with flowers on it, which I think is quite nice. We decoupage with that. Another flowered one with a cup of tea. Uh, a football one, ideal for my grandson, my oldest grandson. And a car one. You can make two cars out. Those two cards, Christmas birthday cards, so to say. Trainers, or what they call them, high tops. There's two of them. And then back to the backing paper. So yes, yeah, so they were in the box Put that there. all these cards and envelopes you also got double sided tape and um, dimensionals but I took them out and this box was put away upstairs I need to say I had to bring it all down so I could film it um, a this I've not opened. This is a wooden uh, where do you open it? There. Yeah. This is a MDF kit frames and flowers. Let's get a picture. That's what it makes little MDF frame with flowers on it and you've got the um, wooden bits glue pen, two glue pens pots of paint and paint brushes and the instructions so I've got that I'm going to give that to my granddaughter I think she'll like doing that If she wants it. Um, then we got this Stitch Happy Pen. This I also haven't opened. Ooh. Much glued or stuck. It's like a machine that helps you stitch your design on your cards so. oh 
isn't it coming out? So you have don't know what this is vapor you've got a frame oh and that's your needle I think needles oh no there's your needle there and your cotton's on it I think that's to thread the needle and oh some designs you can stitch, swan, camera, flower, hello, love, and a leaf. And then there's a frame here that you put your card in. I'm supposed to keep it firm to be able to stitch it. for the needles just come off yeah so that's what that is um, I don't know what this paper is for I think you'd have to read the instructions so this looks like double sided tape it has includes one punch needle one spool of thread about 100 yards one magnetic frame six stencils two threaders and backing stickers ah so that's backing stickers and this is the threaders magnetic frame and the needle with the spool so that back in. Oh, sort that out afterwards. Right, what else? We've got three tattered lace dies. This is of a lady dancing. This one is little tiny leaves and flowers. And this one is of a kissing couple under the light. I'm trying to get it under the frame. A free stamp set by Stamp By Me. Which is quite nice. I do really like that. I like the... Um, sentiments on this. Oh it's massive. Massive stamp. So it has celebrate you, shine bright and happy birthday and then this big flower. I already have one of these stamps. Not this one. One with the daisies on. I think I did a film on it before. But I should do a film on this. Make a card for this one. Oh. And some quilling papers. So, all different colours. I don't know what to do with them. If somebody wants them, they can have them. Same as this, if somebody wants to pay postage, they can have this Stitch Happy Pen. It's made by We Are Memory Keepers. Um, and we also got this, a tote bag. It's got three pockets either side and one on each side. It is quite big inside. It holds 12 by 12 papers, it's a card, stamping trimmer. It's quite a really quilted 
and this is made by Everything Mary. It's valued at $19.99 just for the bag alone. And we all got one of these. It's so funny, the four of us who went to Peterborough, like my sis myself, my sister, and two other friends, Debbie and Sue, we all went in my sister's car. And we went to craft club the other day and we all had these tote bags. Yeah, so this is what we got from Peterborough. All goes in there. And then when I finish filming, I will put it all the way. So, that is it. I hope some of them answers helped you out. And you're happy to see what we got from Peterborough. All I could say is thanks for visiting. And I hope to see you again soon. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and ring the bell. And you'll be notified of any more videos I upload. Which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday.